Hi, my name is Mary C. Uh, from Mary C. and the Stellars. I am the lead singer of a soul rock band based out of New York City. My mom is a jazz singer. Her name is Mercedes Hall. And I grew up around jazz musicians my whole life, around entertainers really my whole life. My brother's an actor and my father's um, in the business as well. And so it was just a natural progression. I started playing piano when I was five, writing songs, probably all that were horrible. Um, but my parents really just kept encouraging me and slowly um, I started singing backup from my mother. And from there I developed my own band. And it's gone through many phases, as most bands do. But for the last four years, we've been Mary C. and the Stellars. And as a whole unit, we are a 10-piece band. Um, tonight, you saw about five of us, six of us, maybe. Um, but yeah, that's, that's kind of how I got my start. And I'm from here. I'm from New York City, born and raised. So. It's just really like a natural progression. I've always, um, I grew up on soul and soul music and the blues. My mom played a ton of like Etta James, James Brown, Billie Holiday, um, just really great vocalists. I fell in love with Tina Turner and Janis Joplin at a young age as well. And all those iconic vocalists um, have really helped kind of define my sound, my own sound. And it's really been just a blend of many different worlds, but primarily its root is in soul music. Um, and rock is always just, it gets you, it gets you in like the core. So yeah, so soul rock is ultimately what it's transitioned into over the years, but I would say soul has always been the core and the root of, of my sound. <laughs> You know, I think it's it's hard to say. I, I, for one, feel that good music is embraced, regardless if it's a man singing it or, or a woman singing it. Um, and if it's good, then people will respond to it. So I, I'm not really sure if I've personally had any struggles, but I will say that I love seeing that the trend of female front women um, is becoming a trend. And it's becoming not just a trend of the moment, but a lasting trend. Because women are powerful, and uh, it's important that we're out there and that our voices are heard. And I, and I think it is. I think it's changing, and I think we're in a place now where we're fortunate to have a lot of really amazing women in music, in film, in TV, and, and hopefully soon to be our next president. <laughs> Work on your craft, study, um, find great mentors, and keep performing. Performing on the stage live is, is the best education that you can possibly have. Working in the studio is great, and creating your songs, and really working on your instrumentation and your songwriting, those are all really important things. But to me, the biggest place that I've learned is on stage. And there's nothing that compares to that. So no matter what, always get on that stage, keep performing, keep trying out new material, see what works, see what doesn't, and you'll ultimately find who you are as an artist on that stage. Wow, um, so I am finally uh, gearing up to release a new album, which I'm hoping will be out this summer with a single released this spring. Um, it's not titled yet. Everyone's been asking me about the title of the album, but we don't have one yet. Uh, but I am really excited to be releasing new music um, under Mary C. and the Sellers, and I'm looking forward to a really great 2016 and just creating and sharing more music and getting out there and you know, performing for amazing people. That's really where the energy and comes from and the reason why we do what we do is to have that moment on stage with the audience and just having that connection. So I hope to be on more stages this year. Well, thank you. Thank you for listening, thank you for supporting, and thank you for continuing to spread the music. That's the most important thing. So thank you, fans. Thank you out there. Thank you, new listeners. And uh, hope to see you guys in 2016. Ooh,